And, uh, Greg Giraldo uh, passed away in uh, 2010. He's uh, helping to keep his memory alive. Let's say hello to the co-author of Greg Giraldo, A Comedian's Story. It's Wayne Jones joining us right now on Daytime. Hi, Wayne. Hi. How you doing? Now, you know a bit about books because you're a librarian by trade. I am a librarian by trade. I've been doing it for 30 years now. 30 years. Okay, now you are a big fan of Greg Giraldo. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of uh, stand-up comedy generally and uh, Giraldo specifically. So when he passed away early, it was an accidental uh, drug overdose. Uh, uh, my partner contacted me and we started writing a book about him. Okay. What is it about Greg Giraldo that made you such a fan? Part of it was the comedy, very intelligent comedy. Part of it was he covered kind of a whole range. I mean, uh, people, a lot of people know him from the Comedy Central Roast, for example, which is one side of the story. But the other side of the story is basically a comedian who's doing, working on the road, uh, doing shows, uh, doing appearances on TV, Letterman, uh, Howard Stern, that sort of thing. So the range and the intelligence was, was, was really mm -hmm. impressive. And he really was an intelligent guy because my research found uh, that he was even a lawyer. He was not only a lawyer, but he graduated from Harvard Law School. He was there at the same time Barack Obama was there. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Quite the guy. Now, now uh, you uh, did over 60 interviews with different people to find out more about him? We have. Yeah. It's mostly based on uh, the, those interviews. And uh, basically, these are interviews with uh, other comedians, with uh, family members, girlfriends, uh, people in the business, other comedians, uh, the whole range of people, uh, even so a fan or two, but also people back in his early days, not only people in his later days. So, yeah. Yeah, we've done all those interviews. Okay, now whenever you say we, because you've said that a bunch of times now, you are co-authoring this book, and uh, you have co-authored with... Um, His a comedian himself, correct? Yes. Uh, yeah. he, he lives in California. His name is Matt Balaker. And uh, he's uh, it's basically his idea for the book. He's the person who contacted me. And uh, yeah, we work together. Uh, he's in California. I'm here. And we put the book together based on that, even based on that distance. Okay. So what kind of challenges would arise with you being here and he being down in California? Uh, there weren't a lot, you know, with the technology today, you can sort of overcome, you don't need to be in the same room sort of thing. Mm. We would often sort of divide up tasks and do it that way. I did visit LA a couple of times and, you know, we sort of uh, saw each other there. Mm. Uh, but you can share documents, you know, you can review documents. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's really not a barrier at all, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. And sorry, how did this collaboration come to be? It was originally a Kickstarter project on a part of Matt's. So he started a Kickstarter project. I found out about it. We started chatting and he asked me to be his co-author because I've written a few other books and published them. Mm -hmm. And uh, he thought he might, uh, he thought I might be useful to, uh, to be around. Mm -hmm. Nice. So what did you find out about this comedian that you didn't know uh, before? Because being a big fan, you think you know everything, perhaps, right? And then you start researching and some nuggets start servicing, yeah. such as? It's a good point, actually, because uh, actually, uh, uh Probably the main thing I discovered was that he was a very insecure person in the sense that he doubted himself, he was very uh, hard on himself, and you know, when you see a very confident, handsome comedian up on stage doing killer material, you think, wow, that's pretty impressive. But mm -hmm. uh, he was very insecure in his person. He, I remember one interview where he said he was always felt uncomfortable in his own skin. Mm -hmm. And you don't really sort of think of that of someone who comes across in a very kind of confident mm -hmm. way, but you never know what's behind people. It's funny because I do believe I've heard that many times about comedians and people in entertainment in general. Yeah. That, that they believe that they're very hard on themselves. Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. And compounded with Greg, he also, in his later years, had some addiction issues, and uh, this didn't help, obviously, to say the least. Yeah. Okay, so uh, being released at the end of the month. Yep. Ebook, print, audio as well. Yep. That's cool. So your co-author is actually doing the audiobook for it? Co-author is currently, uh, at the end of the month, the, the print version and the uh, Kindle version will be available, and we're still working on the audio version as well. Yeah. Okay, and you're actually doing a bit of a tour. You're going to be going all over the place or uh, figuring out ways to promote this, New York, Hollywood as well? Yep, and various other venues. Uh, we're, 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 when you self-publish, basically you have to do your own publicity and your own sort of on-the-ground work, but uh, we've got various things uh, scheduled for cities in the U.S. as well as Canada. That's fun. What do you think his famous friends will think about this book? I think they'll like it because it's not only it's not just a sort of thing about clips from what he's done, but it's uh, they will also discover things that they don't know. We did a huge amount of research for this book, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they'll I think they'll uh, like what they see. Greg Giraldo, a comedian's story. That's a lot of fun. Are you going to uh, label it in the Dewey Decimal System when you get back to work? Uh, well, I'll have to think about that. Is that still a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Dewey Decimal <laughs> System. Wayne Jones, thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate your time, and as always, we appreciate your time. Thank you for being here. I'm Dylan Black.